Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Kim Nichols, and I'm honored to introduce Lindsay Sheehy today. Lindsay is a young lawyer extraordinaire, having been named one of Connecticut's super lawyer rising stars. Representing large public and private equity businesses in mergers and acquisitions throughout her career, Lindsay has quickly risen to become one of Connecticut's top legal experts in the field. This is no surprise. She comes from a long line of smart professional women, including her mother, Laura, who was awarded the Tribute to Women and Industry by the Ridgewood, New Jersey YWCA, the equivalent of the Bravo Award that Lindsay is getting today. And like so many of our recipients today, Lindsay manages to be a powerhouse at work, a dedicated mother at home, and an ardent supporter of the community around her. A board member of the Connecticut Domestic Violence Crisis Center since 2012, Lindsay founded and organizes their Shoes and Champagne Women's Networking Event, a fundraiser that she told me she founded after being inspired by our, by our own YWCA Old Bags Luncheon. Lindsay, would you please join me here on the podium? For your commitment to excellence professionally and within our community, the YWCA would like to honor you with this 2016 Bravo Award. Thank you. Thank you, Kim, for that kind introduction. First, I'd like to thank the, w the YWCA, Aubrey Grodin, and the entire staff and volunteers who make this incredible event a reality. I'm honored to be here today with this impressive group of women honorees. Congratulations to you all. Instead of taking my time up here to tell you about myself, you can read my bio in the book, I'd like to tell you about the woman in my life who inspires me every day. She was born in New York City in 1921 to a poor immigrant family. She'd come home every day after school and care for her father who suffered from Parkinson's, including bathing and feeding him. After excelling in all of her high school subjects, she went on to join the first class of women admitted to City College. She was 15 years old. It was at City College that she met her future husband, became president of the student council, and set her sights on a long career in accounting. This woman was none other than my grandmother, Florence Wexler. Growing up, I'd brag about my grandma and refer to her as a human encyclopedia. Today, I'd probably refer to her as a human wiki. <laughs> if ever I wanted to know something about Voltaire, migratory bird patterns, or the Civil War, I'd pick up the phone and call grandma, at the office, of course, and she'd rattle off enough facts to get me going on whatever project I was working on. Grandma loved to read, a passion she passed on to all of us. Grandma's favorite book was Little Dorrit by Charles Dickens, of which she read all 1,100 pages many times over. After she passed away this September, I decided I would take on the tome to see for myself why it had so captured her heart and mind. Now, five months later, my Kindle tells me I'm about 54% there. <laughs> So I'll have to save those remarks for my next public speaking engagement. <laughs> Grandma was also the Yogi Berra of our family. I'd like to leave you with some of our favorite Florence-isms. Number one, you might as well eat because they'll all say you did. <laughs> number two, you can't dance at every wedding. And number three, you make your own luck. Thank you to Grandma for inspiring me to make my own luck. Thank you to my family for always supporting me, my grandparents, my parents, my siblings, my friends, my colleagues, my clients, some of whom are here today, and most of all, my husband Mike and my daughters Hannah and Rory. And thanks to all of you who make a difference every day in your own little corner of the world. Thank you.